Hello and welcome to my quick update about everything happening on the agenda for the ordinary council meeting of Lane Cove Council this coming Thursday the 22nd of June. Now I am putting up a mayoral minute. This is following a mayoral waste summit that was held in late May with all the mayors of Sydney uh, coming together to talk about a regional and state uh, waste strategy. Uh, there's a lot of work there and there's a lot of actions that uh, council I'm proposing we partake in uh, to really drive the state government to see some reform and uh, to provide some assistance uh, that we work together with solving Sydney's long-term waste problems. Now we've got a few no uh, motions on notice. So uh, one of those is in regards to synthetic turf. Another one is a proposal to uh, find any surplus funds throughout the year to potentially allocate to more bushland maintenance. And we've got a bit of a uh, request for a survey of truck usage in Cox's Lane. Um, some big ones coming uh, ahead in this meeting. So first one is a pretty major and comprehensive review of our development control plan, incorporating a lot of sustainability initiatives. So what the development control plan is, these are guidelines that when you build uh, any form of building in Lane Cove, uh, things that they, sort of local nuanced uh, design elements and uh, really a big step up there in trying to make our new builds more sustainable. Another one based on a previous resolution of council, uh, reviews to sort of harmonise our construction uh, hours that are permissible on weekends, more in line with our neighbours, so um, that is before this council. We've got a revised work schedule from our developer contributions plan. So uh, last time this was updated in 2013, this is essentially the works plan that all the money we get from developer contributions, where will we spend that on new capital projects that can be attributed to an increase in population. So it's proposed that that will go to community consultation, uh, given that um, it has been some time since we reviewed that, and uh, it'll you know be seeking your feedback on that as well, in line with the uh, changes to the development control plan. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, got some other ones. A big one is, of course, approving the budget and the operational plan for the 2023-2024 financial year. I've actually, in the email below, put a pretty um, decent list just showing all the capital works, the recurring programs, new initiatives uh, that we are wanting to undertake in 2023-2024. So quite an exciting list there. Definitely suggest to have a skim through that. And uh, there we go. So basically, um, and out of transparency, I'd like to um, make sure this is disclosed as well. A um, proposal that councillor fees and mineral fees will increase by 3%. Um, that's an annual determination determination that councils need to make. So that is on the agenda as well. And there are some questions on notice in regards to the sport and recreation facility, just to clarify um, the procurement process, the awarding of the tender, and uh, you know the timeline of which council will determine the operating model of that facility. So there you are. So that's the quick rundown about everything on the agenda. As always, we've got our community Zoom on Wednesday night. So you are available at 7.45 and have any, have any questions, please RSVP. Otherwise send me an email and I will always answer. Thank you.